There are no roads on Mars, so every rover has to deal with sand and rocks as it drives. Most of the time, rovers go over or around the rocks, depending on their size, but sometimes the rocks go along for a ride on this episode of Mars Guy. The Spirit rover in Gusev Crater was the first to pick up an unwanted passenger. Back in 2004, it was working its way up Husband Hill, the highest of the hills named to honor the astronauts killed in the 2003 Columbia space shuttle disaster. Here's the view from the bottom of the hill, and here's a model of the rover with Mars Guy for scale. The rover tracks expose dark basaltic sand under a coating of fine iron oxide dust that coats everything in the landscape. These are common features of Martian landscapes, but they're rare on Earth, even at sites used by scientists as stand-ins for Mars, like Devon Island in the Canadian Arctic Ocean, which you can visit using Google Street View. It has no basaltic sand or iron oxide dust. Spirit was experiencing up to 95% slip on 15 to 20 degree slopes covered in thick basaltic sand peppered with cobbles and boulders, not exactly rover-friendly terrain. It was in these conditions that Spirit picked up a rock. Here's the view from the rear Hascam, which is mounted close to the ground. The right rear wheel, which is open on the inside to save weight, scooped up a rock while in deep sand and stalled the motor. The rover drivers called it a potato-sized rock in their report, and the name has stuck for such a rock ever since. After trying out some different maneuvers, the rover drivers found that backing out of the thickest sand and rotating the rover a bit freed the potato from the wheel. Half a world away, in Jezero Crater, Perseverance picked up its own potato during the second of two record-breaking drives, which I presented in episode 44. It may have happened as it drove down through a gap in R2B Ridge. Here's the view from the front Hascam on the previous saw, and here it is after driving through the gap. Perseverance also has open wheels to help save weight. A few saws later, it got the best view yet. Perseverance has much bigger wheels than Spirit, so this rock looks smaller, but it's actually about the same size as Spirit's potato, just over 5 inches, or about 13 centimeters. On Sol 351, Perseverance backed away from the outcrop it had been investigating and started a set of drives that took it over 1,400 meters, almost 9 tenths of a mile, in 11 sols, a record-breaking pace for a Mars rover. The potato rode along this whole time, but it is now worse for wear. It looks smaller than when it started, and it's been shedding coarse sand grains in the process. Hard to say how long it can last or whether it gets bumped out of the wheel, but it's clear that Perseverance is none the worse for wear from its passenger. 